وابتغي فيما آتاك الله الدار الآخرة That's a, a piece of advice to Qarun Qarun was not such a grand man Although he was very rich He was one of those at the time of Moses Musa alayhi salam Who was extremely wealthy And naturally he had power due to his wealth And Allah tells him Whatever we've given you Use it to build your hereafter Wow Allah didn't say build it through worshipping me in this way or that way. He says, whatever we've given you, ma ataka Allah, whatever the Almighty's blessed you with, use it to build your hereafter. Why? Because Allah has blessed every one of us uniquely. Your gift from Allah is different from mine. I could be sitting here and quoting the Quran and so on and so forth. I may have, for example, been given an opportunity to try and inspire people to head in the right direction or to, to at least improve in one way or another. But your gift would be so unique that if I were to know about it, I'd probably say, wow, this person is more gifted than I am. Every one of us has been gifted by Allah. Sometimes we haven't yet recognized that gift. That's all. Don't think you're not. Whatever you have, anything, use that thing. Use that thing to build your hereafter. If the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, encourages us to plant trees in order to provide shade and fruit to others, be they human or birds or animals. And he says, whenever any of those benefit from any of what you have planted, you need to know it will be a reward for you going beyond your date of death. When you have drilled a well, for example, and the water gushes out, in a place where people need it and they are benefiting from it for as long as that water is gushing out your reward continues even if you've died who is the water for who is the tree for now tell me if you have the ability to improve the infrastructure of your nation or to improve in any of the ministries of this beautiful nation and you have the ability the position to actually leave behind something far greater than what you had found. Don't you think you're going to get the same reward? I'd like to say something that you probably never thought of. I don't know the entire history of your nation, but I do know a little pockets of it. This bridge that you see was not there a few years ago. Do you agree? What if I were to tell you Whoever's master plan it was may be getting a reward for the 80,000 who cross it every single day. And it's got nothing to do with religion per se directly. You follow what I'm saying?